Hi guys, happy Wednesday. So we're coming to you live for our, our weekly Ask an Advocate session. And this is our time to come to you, to meet you where you're at on your wellness journey, to answer your questions and really just help you to be able to use your products better. Um, so my name is Danette Penrod with Wellness Spoiled. And I'm Tiffany Patel with <laughs> Nature's Gift. You forget? <laughs> or no. is it Am I, I delayed? Don't know. I think it's delayed. Oh no, shoot! Yes. So if I if it sounds weird, that's why. Don't know. Um, why. Okay. Don't know that. So we both partner with DoTerra essential oils to provide ongoing support and education behind their products. So if you haven't heard yet, DoTerra is doing a 21 day challenge. And so um, I'll throw that number up here for you because it's not too late to join. It did start on the first, um, but you can go to their Facebook page and go look at um, day one and two. Day one was just talking about um, habit stacking. And then yesterday was just about um, getting out for a walk with a friend, with your dog, with your kids, whatever. So and then today is um, moving your body. And then there's a cool uh, workout video by Tim Hightower. He always does Wellness Wednesdays um, on the doTERRA um, Facebook page. So anyway, we want to help give you some tips on uh, some daily habits that you can build into your routine. So we're going to post a checklist um, in the comments below after we're done. Um, but go ahead, Tip, and tell them what's What's one good thing they can do? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's really delayed. I apologize. <laughs> um, so one thing, well, I want to um, kind of say real fast is that you do not need oils to do this program. You do not need a product. This is just to help you stay healthy and get into healthy habits. So one thing that you want to focus on every day, um, and get in the habit of is, is drinking half your body weight in ounces of water. So, you know, say you're a um, hundred pounds. I'm not, so you, are. you would want to drink 50 pounds or 50 pounds, 50 ounces in water. It'd be a lot of water if you're drinking 50 pounds, um, you can drown. but yes. Yeah, so 50 ounces of water um, every day. So I, I, you know, I have a, large hydrofast hydro flask that is 32 ounces so i just make sure i fill this up like three times a day um to know that and i think i actually need a little bit more than half my because if you're sweating if you you know are exercising a lot or whatever you may need more but that is your goal plus caffeine so if you drink caffeine you actually need more water to counteract the caffeine so that's something to keep in mind. There's people that have a hard time with this. This is something that um, comes pretty easy to me, but is a little bit of motivation to lose some weight so you don't have to drink as much in, in ounces. Anyway, um, so the other thing that you can do, it's recommended to move your body for at least 20 minutes every day. So taking a brisk walk, doing little exercises around the home, whatever you choose to do, whatever ignites you, whatever lights your fire, you know what I mean? It's just trying to find that um, balance. I especially, I, I really like to walk because I like to get out in the fresh air and I like um, the low impact. I don't like running, it's not my thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, and to get vitamin D. I mean, that was one thing they wanted us to do yesterday for the challenge is um, you know, getting out and getting vitamin D. And so I saw somebody post, well, I'm in, in the northeast part of the country where it's like they have like a foot or two of snow right now. Mm -hmm. So they're like, can't really do that right now. So if you can't get outside, that's OK. And if you don't have a treadmill or something in your house, do laps in your house. Just walk around. You know, yeah. try to go fast, as fast as you can, you know, within your house if it's just one room going around. So, um, you know, we can always make excuses, but it's just getting out there and doing it. Well, um, and if not you necessarily out, but just get out and doing it. And if you watch um, Tim Hightower's video today, he does it right in his living room. 
and he uses books and chairs and stuff like that. So it's all stuff that you already have in your house. So that's helpful. Um, sure. Yeah. Go for yeah. the next one. Yeah. So yeah, the next one is something you would have to have the product for, but um, it is using your LLB. So the lifelong vitality supplements, um, they, we talk about them all the time and we talk about them all the time because they work. They are nutrients that we're getting is, um, is not as, um, good for us or is not as, it has as many vitamins and minerals as what it used to because of our soils being depleted. So this fills in the gaps. So it is um, directed towards, if you're in the U.S. market, what we would need in the U.S. market if you're somewhere else, that, you know, they, they are um, mindful of what we need where we are. So it, they, you need a good foundation. So we always, you know, I don't know if you've seen the doTERRA pyramid, uh, but it is, you know, you have to have, be doing these things um, to be healthy. And the, so that's, the, you know, I can tell you that you do not want to, you want to be preventative, preventative healthcare, because um, as we all know, Danette and I both have, have stuff in our life that has changed our life that you want to have, you want to do something now before it gets bad. Yep. So take care of yourselves. Which leads us into the next one, which is take some time for oh, self care. <laughs> no, perfect. That's perfect. That was perfect transition. So, I think sometimes we overthink self care, and we think uh, that means going for a massage or the chiropractor or something like that. Self care can be super simple. Something as easy as giving yourself time to take a bath if you like baths. Um, you know, giving yourself your own little pedicure. Um, it could just be curling up on the couch with a book or with your favorite show, just setting aside time for yourself. And that's not selfish. It is necessary for us to be able to thrive. So that's a good one that we should all be doing. And it doesn't have to be long. It doesn't have to be expensive. Um, of course, those other things are nice. Um, but you don't have to do it, you know, doesn't have to be crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, and the next one is turning on your diffuser. So having oils that are uplifting. Um, I have, I mean, there's so many different combos that we have found. Um, you could just look it up, you know, Google it, doTERRA uplifting oils or whatever. I mean, you you can find so many and maybe even search through our group and pages and see what um, what we have posted in the past. But it is, you know, cleansing the air, but it also can um, help create a atmosphere that is happy or, you know, grounding, whatever you are looking for. Um, you want to you turn on your diffuser. And if you don't have a diffuser, just put the oils in your hand and breathe them in. Um, it just helps if you have people that you live with that they get the benefits too. <laughs> right. <laughs> they think it's just for you, but really it's for them too. <laughs> right. What do you have and in remember your remember what what self-care self-care? What do you have in your diffuser today? Um I am doing a um lemon and adaptive. And I have I island orange. mint and wild orange. I don't know why. Oh. Just sounded yummy wow. today. <laughs> um, so yeah. the next makes you want to be on a beach. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one is just using your oils. So you've heard us talk about it before, probably um, two super simple ones that you can incorporate into your daily routine are doing a drop of frankincense underneath your tongue and or um, using balance on the bottom of your feet every morning to start your day. So of course, if you have problems with sleep, you can use serenity at night. There's all sorts of things to do, but just try to keep it simple. Keep your oils out where you have, you know, where they're visible so that you can start getting into that routine and use this 21 days or whatever we have left or whatever, keep going. 
um, to try to build these um, habits mm -hmm. so that then you can put them in a cute place or put them back in your drawer, but that you know where they're at, you know you're gonna use them. So that's the hardest part about oils is actually remembering to use them. Right. Well, and our last one is getting a good night's sleep. Um, it's for some people, it's, it's hard. It's super hard putting serenity on your big toe right before you go to sleep. This is, I mean, I'll put it out in, in words in your mouth, but this is what Danette does. I don't <laughs> have trouble with sleep, so I, but I do diffuse. There's a, uh, the humidifier diffuser, right? The Dawn diffuser right next to my bed. Um, and just make it dreamy. I love the combo that I put in there. Um, that's a previous post. So go back and do that. Um, but, uh, you know, it, so it can help you sleep. There are serenity soft gels and using maybe Copa Ebo with that as well. If you have sleep troubles, please contact us so we can try to help you through that. Lifelong vitality supplements can help. Um, but there's a, some different things that we can help you um, try to see what works. Um, so getting a good night's sleep is huge. Yes. Um, and I used to have problems. I don't anymore, but I still use my serenity because I don't know, it's my habit now. <laughs> so we are uh, super appreciative uh, to have you guys joining us. And if you have any questions at all about the challenge, about how to plug into it, it's not too late. Like Tiff said, it does not require oils. Of course, we're going to suggest oils because that's what we do for a living <laughs> is educate on oils and using natural solutions. But this is really taking all sorts of natural solutions, things like water and, and stuff like that, that um, you don't, you know, you don't have to buy. I guess you could buy water. You don't have to buy water though. <laughs> anyway, my point is we're trying to keep it super simple and easy. That's what doTERRA is doing with this 21 day challenge. If you follow along on their Facebook page or Instagram page, they are doing giveaways. So comment and try to score some free product there. So anyway, thank you guys. And we will see you next week. Bye guys.